Greeting! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome, dear suckers, to a game that needs no introduction. But I'm gonna introduce it anyway, because fuck you. Deus Ex. And no, I don't know why the, the main menu thing is out of frame so you can't actually see the name. I don't know how to fix that. So yeah, Deus Ex. A true fucking classic. A game of which there has never been the like ever. Before or after. Not truly. Cer not from its sequel and certainly not from its prequels. Or its spiritual successor. Or wh whatever you want to find. No. There has never been the like of Deus Ex. Uh, yeah, and yes, this is that game I mentioned at the end of my Black Mesa playthrough that I was gonna play. The one, the classic, with the terrible sequel and prequels. Because yes, Deus Ex Human Revolution and its sequels were terrible Deus Ex games that couldn't even be called, that should that don't deserve the name of Deus Ex. Fight me. Also, Deus Ex 2, the, uh, the, the sequel to Deus Ex, also is a terrible game that doesn't deserve the name of Deus Ex, but that's less controversial. <laughs> I mean, not only is the gameplay very, very, not only is the gameplay unique, but the but the fucking story is extra, extraordinarily unique. I mean, it's got so many fucking layers, so so much of it that's like disturbingly real, even stuff that wasn't, you know. I mean, you should check out Ro uh, Ross Scott's uh, Game Dungeon episode on uh, on this game. It's if you if you haven't if you haven't uh, if you're not familiar with Deus Ex, or even if you are but want to become more familiar with it and such, you should just you should go watch that real quick because I'm not gonna do a good job introducing it. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we're playing Deus Ex. Vanilla Deus Ex, not Revision, not Biomod, not GMDX, just van plain vanilla. Why? Because the original was an absolutely fucking perfect game with no flaws ever and, and no possible way to improve upon it. <laughs> Actually, I'm just sore about them removing the pistol skill exploit, but never mind that. Before we get into it, let's play the intro, shall we? I'm going to go do a good job of choosing it. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The Augmentation Project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. If necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age. 
Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon, that city will be a reality, and we crown its kings. Not better than kings. Gods. So yeah. That was the intro there. Did you understand any of that? If they haven't played this game, you probably didn't. But the funny thing about that is, it kind of, in hindsight, it kind of lays out like half the plot of the game for you right there. But never mind that. So yeah, we're gonna downgrade pistols as usual because in, every, in any unmodded version of the game, if you untrain pistols, you'll get the skill points, but you'll still start with it as trained for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't. I don't. I don't know why they didn't just uh, not give you trained pistol skill and just give you that much skill points. I don't know. A lot of things are strange. Like why is it 1575? What, what a weird number. It's 3150 and all that. I don't know. Ugh. But that leaves the question of what we're going to spend these points on. Obviously, get computers to train. That is the most important level, a skill level in the entire game. Seriously. Which is funny because master of computers is one of the least important skill levels in the game. Because it does because it does very little. For you. Advanced is fairly important. They have the ability to control automated gun turrets. Yeah. Uh. Normally you could get away with just disabling the cameras. But that gives you options in some situations. But never mind that. We got that. We, we could get low tech, but... I don't think... Well... I'm not certain we're going to need any weapon skills for the f this first level. Let's let's just grab lockpicking, electronics. Oh, and of course swimming, the most important skill in the entire game, b barring the first level of computers. <laughs> swimming, always, always, always upgrade swimming. That is my official word. That's very peeved. This, this is advice that will never see, see you wrong. Spread it around everywhere. Always pick swimming. <laughs> anyway, this is our code name, JC Denton. Our real name, JC Denton. Well, stop it's our code name then, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it's a double bluff. Like, they never suspect that JC Denton would be the person whose code name is JC Denton. <laughs> uh... I laugh now, but actually, it, in a way, it kind of makes sense if you squint at a few later plot points, but never mind that. I think we can save the rest of the skill points, don't think we should need any more. And this is the same intro thing. Alright. Here we are, Liberty Island. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Oh yeah, for all this game, for all, all the weird things about this game, there is one part of it that Total Biscuit would be very disappointed in. There is no... FOV slider. Tragically. Is uh. ah, I can never catch these in time. Uh. Oh, I can catch that one, but things way slower. I think. Oh, I'm going insane. I got the possibility. Yo, hey Paul. Oh, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? <laughs> Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. 
What are we waiting for? That was like a technical assault. The NSF right, took one of our agents talking. hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but you NACO better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. I really wish that soldier would stop trying to fucking photobomb this conversation. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, would you go away? Jesus. Stop fucking walking into him. You gotta do it again. This is the exact same. Will you bugger off? Rude. Really rude. Anyways, so. This decision is a rather interesting one. Take the, the sniper rifle, the gep gun, or the crossbow. Now, the thing is, all of these are very useful items. The rifle is great if you're, well, picking them off from a distance and all that. It's very loud, but can certainly... But even before you get, like, a silencer or whatever... I think you get a silencer. Yeah, and you can compensate for that for by just, well, picking them off from a distance. Uh, so it's pretty nice. The cro The Gep Gun not only is useful against heavy armor, but... Is also a is also a very excellent. Let's uh, uh, how should I put this? Improvised lock picking device, so to speak. Because that's what one thing that Deus Ex has that I've I've rarely I've, I don't think I've ever seen it in another game. That the way the uh, busting down doors mechanics work, where they will give where you could not only break open doors and such, but there's some really neat mechanics about their like health, their minimum damage threshold and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. And the Gep Gun, yeah. If any if a door can be broken open, it will break it open. Although you can you you can also use other things like lamps and such. I forget what lamp stands for. Lightweight something. I think M stands for munitions, but I don't remember what the A stands for. Whatever. And the crossbow. Sometimes you gotta make, make a silent takedown. Yeah. <laughs> Those of you who have used the crossbow, especially the tranquilizer darts, might contest that. You might in fact be chortling right now. But it's not actually untrue. Now, when it comes to the cro tranquilizer darts, those are not exactly the most uh, silent way of taking them out by shooting them with it, because what'll happen, you shoot them with tranquilizer darts, they'll, they'll notice, hey, I've been shot with tranks. They'll run around shooting at you or alerting people and such, and then eventually they'll fall over unconscious, because that's a reasonable way for tranquilizer darts to work. Uh, but that is actually more useful than it sounds, for, because a single tranquilizer dart hitting the torso or head will take it will ev eventually take down an NSF trooper yeah, regardless of your weapon skill which makes it excellent for hit and fade tactics although the tranquilizer poison doesn't actually stack but when it comes to making silent takedowns it is actually one of the best tools for that Especially for non-lethal silent takedowns. And that's because... Well, I'll show you later when I get a crossbow. Because I'm not going to be selecting it here. Because this is actually a false... Uh, this is actually not nearly as difficult a choice as I've made it seem so far. It's the Gep Gun. There's, no, there's, there's not actually much reason not to take the Gep Gun. Because both the crossbow and the rifle can be acquired, I think, before you even enter the building that the terrorists are holding up in, just from looting the guys, the NSF troopers, outside the building. Whereas the Gep Gun, if you don't get it here, you won't get it for some, until, like, Mission 3, I think, at the very earliest. So yeah, 
Never know when I might come up against heavy armor. Give me the Gepka. Never know when I might come up against some heavy armor. Give me the Gepka. That's what I said. The Gep gun might be useful. They have a security bot on patrol near the statue entrance. Great. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the north dock, a Unatco informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Herman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, and also there's the other reason of being that, of course, as you well know... What's your take on the situation, shit. Corporal? I didn't mean to do the that. bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. Yeah. This... Obviously, the the other fact that anyone familiar with Deus Ex would know, which is that the Gep Gun is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Oh. Um. Huh. That's unusual. Don't normally see that that guy NSF just running and die. JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A Unatco informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase iron and copper. Yeah, man. There's one thing I missed from Biomod. It's the athletic skill. Because if you if you mastered that right from the start, you could actually s run past Paul before he speaks to you and, and just fucking outrun him indefinitely. If you want to make a covert approach, That's pretty, always remember fun. the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Yeah. A crowbar. Hit someone or something with it. Repeat. <laughs> Mini crowbars we call murder of crowbars. Always have one for combat. Ha! Right. Sadly, this game, unlike Thief, has no mantling mechanics. Which is another thing I missed from Biomod. But oh well. I'll make do. And I'll have to. You know, if you time it just right, you can actually run right through all those people, run up to the main door, hack the computer, or not even hack the computer, just use the these old passwords, but I remember. NSF001, smash the state. And the engine then just get in silently. Anyways. Let me just stealthily sneak up to this guy. I swear I heard something. Like so. Very stealthy, as you can tell. Yeah, uh... When you're familiar enough with this game... You sort of realize you can get away with a lot of shit that would, uh, in the stealth. That would never have flown back in the... But this isn't exactly... This isn't the, you know? All of that being said, if this was the... Well, this is all grass, so I probably could get away with that. Anyways. I don't... I don't think this- I don't remember if this game has, like, different footstep noises. For different surfaces. I think it's pretty, uh... Binary, whether you're... Or you're not. Yoink. And here we go. Hazmat suit. Hazmat suit is that they're fucking everywhere, which is this why you This power box must have been damaged in the raid. Don't cross through the arcs. I'm also picking up an EMP field here. If you're not careful, yeah, it'll see? suck away your bioelectrical energy. But yeah, uh, why you, you never invest in environmental training. Unless you're making a lot of use of ballistic vests and thermo-optic camo. And 
here we go. Easy peasy. Laser passion. Laser. <laughs> oh yeah, the fucking laser modification. It's the the best weapon mod in the game, bar none. But, uh, you get one of those, and accuracy mods are rendered completely redundant. Although, weapon skill levels aren't, because they don't just increase your accuracy, but your damage quite a lot. In fact, master, master weapon skill, and you'll be doing double damage with them. Despite the game telling you that you're doing 50, uh, an additional 50% damage. It just lies. Good thinking. Wait. You might be able to avoid some of the security by entering this way. Yeah, but I can't do that yet because this is backcountry. No. Uh. I gotta go this way. If I do, if I don't do this before I do the primary objective, I don't really need this this guy's key for front entrance and all that. But if I don't it do this, it all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in. Offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. Yeah, I don't need any of the guy's intel or the key or anything. But if I don't do this before I deal with the leader, then I'll miss out on like 200 skill points. Which is funny, because rescuing that guy, Gunther, only gives 150. So clearly it's less valuable than talking to some random guy. I don't know. I think that's weird. I know I heard something. But yeah, if you'll notice, if you're wondering how I'm managing to do this, it's because the AI is not very bright. See, if you make a sound, it'll hear that sound. It'll go. It'll go and investigate that sound. Well, some sounds, anyways. So you make sound. You make sound with your footsteps. It, no, it goes to investigate that sound, and then it, ign it ignores all other sounds for some reason. Whoops. There we go. Let's see. Mini crossbow. So I really like to switch between whether it calls it a crossbow or the mini crossbow. I don't know what that's about. Alright. So, now that I've shown you all that, silly buggers. Well, there's no one here. But now that I've got this, uh, this crossbow, I can show you some even more advanced tricks to get them to just ignore you entirely. Wow, I've got a lot of crap. Wasn't there a trick? I forget how to do this, but I think you could, uh, do that or something. Whatever. About time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Password's enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander, and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. Ah, you can trust me. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Have to trust me. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. All right. Yeah, there we go. The gap gun takes up a lot of inventory space, but there's a trick that allows you to stack shit on top of it, or underneath it rather. So that's which is real nice. Look, TNT. Oh, ow. <laughs> 
Yeah, that stuff is astonishingly volatile. Once you've picked it up, um, uh, once I've picked one of those up, it's quite difficult to actually... Uh, I've never really been able to figure out how to actually put it down without blowing myself up, or blowing something up anyways. Now somewhere around here is a guy with a sniper rifle, but I don't particularly care about the sniper rifle. Because I'm going non-lethal. The chadliest way of playing the game. You, you got all these powers, all these arguments, and so much power over the common man, and you use it all, and he and you ignore you ignore like eighty percent of it to just be merciful and, and all that. Okay. Now then, let me show you how this works. Wait, first, laser sight, so I don't accidentally, like, shoot him or something. Um, how do I enable it again? It's been a while since I've played. And also, I've... Okay, X, right. There we go. Oh. There we go. See? You throw the you shoot those out and he and it has the same effect as using your Yeah. Let's see. X Shoot one of those out, and he goes over to, and he it has the same effect as using your, as using your own footsteps, but is a lot safer. Because the thing about that one is that it relies on, yeah, because it can, because this one can be more easily used on groups, and it doesn't rely on you. Is it? Someone there, and all that, and and relies on and do, and requires a lot less reflexes to pull off. And I mean, you can use it with with any silenced weapon because they all make an impact sound, which is pretty neat. Not all games have impact sounds like that. Wait, quiet. But. Tranquilizer dart, uh, I mean, the crossbow dart, rather, I either dart, any, uh, e either dart type counts, maybe not the incendiary, uh, but anyway, they can be picked up off the ground afterwards, which means that you lose nothing but time. Hmm. Hang on. I wonder, can I make it... Yes, all right. And this place, if I crouch over here, I'm not even certain if I need to crouch, but if I do crouch over here, he just walks right by. Maybe I should upgrade low tech then. Not all of these people are going down in one blow. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I'm definitely getting the uh, bonus damage from you know, striking them directly in the back. From, uh, yeah, which for some reason I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know that. And otherwise, I'd be taking far more. Uh, they'd be taking far more hits to take down. But I don't know. I don't know all the mechanics here. Sadly, I know I'm a failure. Ooh, lamb. This security setup is strictly amateur stuff. Thing Keep thing. an eye out for ways to bypass it. 
These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels. Uh, hang on. Got to set the... I'm not pressing F12 every time I need to turn on the flashlight. laser triggered alarm. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hack the control panel in the doorway or find a way around. My blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. <laughs> Soy food. Hola food. Soy JC. Eh, do I really need this? These 40. Meh. Yeah. Ooh, the PS20. Yes, I need that. That is the most overpowered weapon in the entire game. Um, I really don't need this, these cigarettes. That's how we got here. Come on. There we go. Let's see. Yada yada yada. <gasps> oh, shit. Right. Chair. Hopefully, it doesn't alert us. Quiet. Shit. Take the dead cops. Come on. Okay, this isn't working. I can swear I heard something. Shit. Hang on. I need to grab a box from earlier. I forgot to take one here. More fool me. Uh, can I jump on that? <gasps> yes, okay. <gasps> I know I heard something. This is perfectly safe. Being here. But before I go for him, I think I'm gonna upgrade what low tech because I'm sick of it just randomly not one trying them even though it should. I don't know why I did that. And there's Gunther. Where I heard something. There we go. Yeah. Crossbow dots. The most silent way to eliminate resistance. Gunther's in that room, one of our top agents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me say. Hate all you can't say during the. Right. NSF 001 smash the state. There we go. The 
notice that I didn't actually unlock the door. That's because I want to show you something. Something a bit weird. Ooh, what's this? A lesson for our president. Yes, un uh, much like Thief, there's a lot of these interesting little lore tidbits scattered around in these levels. Unlike Thief, however, these are very... well... You'll see. Family News Network. Dave Wary Editorial. When the other kids on my block elected me King of the World, a political office open, thankfully, only to eight-year-olds, I moved quickly to consolidate my power. I declared that all subsequent elections were forbidden, that the office of King was reserved to me and my descendants for all eternity. I don't remember what morsels of political philosophy were hurled at me. That ain't fair, perhaps, or you can't do that. My rebuttal? Yes, I can. I'm King. All subsequent debates involved rocks. Even Gretchen, green-eyed, lovely Gretchen, held me pinned to the ground as the others asserted their own right to the throne with whatever stones happened to be within easy reach. With a 35% approval rating after the UN funding fi fiasco, President Meade should reflect that these children, and millions of other freethinkers, have reached voting age. Who wants to cast the first stone? <laughs> oh yeah, this is the good shit that I come here for. Hey, Gunther. Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in, but for no reasons I said pull back. I do not retreat. Idiot. Just give me a weapon and move out of the way. Are you really that incapable of understanding the As concept you wish. of Take my knife. The tactical withdrawal that will be adequate. of strategy in level. general, really? You proceed you up the stairs lunatic. to the command center at the top. Maybe you are. Watch. Look at this. Look at that. He can just open the door even though it's locked. Why were you in here then? Uh, silliness. He's gonna leave all the taps on. <laughs> I don't think he can just walk right through these la lasers without setting anything off. Because... Why not? <laughs> Shit. Oh wait, I can just get one of them. Uh, here we go. Jump on this right. No? Shit. Ow. Crap. I haven't actually allowed myself to get- Well, actually, now that I think about it, I'll have to use one of my other tricks then. I don't- There we go. See? You can jump on these. It's a, it's a really damn useful trick for getting around. Probably should have used that rather than getting the, the tr that trash can, but oh well. But yeah, you can even you can even do some silly shit with that, like skip fucking uh, trans uh, level transition boundaries and shit like that. The lamb. What is this? Attack munitions. Okay. Sounds like someone really just wanted to spell lamb. But oh well. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. You're insulting my arms. Oh, hi. Okay, let me just quickly nip on over. Shit. Somebody forget that last H. There we go. I just wanted to disable that camera. That all the stairs. It'd be a little bit annoying either. Uh, otherwise. 
All right. Um, what was the thing again? All right. Twenty-three zero zero twenty-three four five five eight. Okay, yeah, 23, not 32. Okay. All right. Yoink. Money, 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 money. Now, it's actually rather to go up and do the primary objective now that we've got all of the uh, time sensitive stuff. Well, Did they find the shooting? Sensitive stuff. Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all were right. So why aren't we pulling out? Mike's on the horn. Jojo wants a lead on the distribution network. Yeah, we don't have enough men to protect what we've got. That's what Jojo wants. I wonder, how does a guy with a tattooed forehead get to be an NSF current? Pardon me, but back in Alabama, we wouldn't let a man who wears earrings plan a military operation. I'd watch what I say about Jojo. He's got a temper. He's a punk and he's gonna get us all killed. The NSF is strong because it represents everyone's interests. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another little bit of amusing internal strife. In a very... Hang on. I just remembered. Yeah, here we go. Gas grenade. Mm. Were there any others? I forget. Yep. You can, uh, with the demolition skill, you can increase the time before they explode to give you more time to disarm it, but why bother? If you're just good at the game, you can avoid, uh, you don't need that. I guess if you didn't notice the the mine like, it, it, before it, it starts going off, then that would be useful. But nah. Gunther has reestablished contact. Good. He says you helped him escape. Good work. Anytime. Well, anytime if, it's a, if there's skill points in it for me. Some news, JC. The NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. We'd like to interrogate him. Let's get out of here. I'm standing my ground. They sprung Herman. We don't stand a chance against a mech. This is it, Private. We knew it might come to this. What good are we to the NSF if we end up dead? If you NATCO breach the perimeter, then it's already too late. Get ready to fight. <laughs> They'll never even know I was here. They'll never know what didn't hit them. It's a... Alright. Easy. We want you to take this one alive and conscious. Find out what you can about the shipment, then turn him over to one of the troopers. Don't shoot. I surrender. Big bad terror so you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. <laughs> Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. That's certainly an interesting idea. Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. You have a single fact to back that up? Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two. 
in 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. I'll take it from here. I guarantee you that the interrogation staff at UNACO will not be as forbearing as I am. Yeah, the secret police. You're just bullies for a completely illegitimate government in Washington. We will locate that shipment one way or another. The entire executive branch is hand-picked. Nineteen of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Don't tell me. That's a think tank. Anyone can become a member. But not everyone does. That's why they call it the secret government. Huh. Good work, Agent. You can't fight ideas with bullets. That's the big bad terrorist leader, is it? <laughs> Funny. Now you start to get to see... And this is probably our, the first taste of... What makes the story of this game so damn interesting and disturbingly real. Or perhaps disturbingly true to life, on the nose, something like that. Ugh. Oh yeah, stealing a vaccine to a place. They sent us in to pick up the pieces. And We've already searched. And distributing it to the people. Funny, that doesn't sound that much like terrorism. But oh well. <laughs> Alright, so now, well... Now seems like a good time to stop for the day. Now we blitz our way through these bozos. No. And gotten our first taste of the... Well, the interesting political philosophy behind this game. But, well, within this game, rather. Behind this game implies that it's a... Propaganda Don't worry about the bodies. Designed we'll to handle push it. Some sort of politics, but... You know what I mean. Or maybe you don't. So, next up, I suppose I'll scour the rest of the, the, uh, this level for various useful trinkets and also the, the various bits and pieces of skill uh, of bonus skill points that I haven't gotten because they weren't. Uh, because they don't vanish as soon as you finish the mission. Uh, complete that objective, unlike. Rescuing Gunther and getting the key. And then we'll go and meet our bosses. Because, yeah, this was happening. Uh, it's. You don't really get the feeling that this is the case when you first play through this. But then you, once you realize that this is taking place, like, right across the fucking street from the UNACO headquarters. Yeah, that. You, you get to. When you realize that, you get to see just why it, why, why it is that they are so astonished that the terrorists would have a let a whole assault on this. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to trigger a interesting Someone little dialogue. Someone should put a slug in the here. commander's head. Yep. Here we go. The head of the Statue of Liberty. Shame, isn't it? The French terrorist group Silhouette claims that France was wrong to give the U.S. the statue. We think they planned the bombing. This whole thing, like the bombing of the statue, very symbolic shit, and it was basically this world's 9/11. Although, although something like 9/11 did happen in this world, but that, but that's just an excuse for why they didn't bother. Uh, they didn't put the twin towers in the background of the thing, so they could get away with mirroring the stuff and all that. So yeah, next up, we scour the rest of the island, and then we go and meet our boss. After a job well done. Or at least meet, or at the very least, medium rare. Until then, 
I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an SD comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.